My name's Chris Taylor, I play for the LA Dodgers, and this is my dog, Charlotte. You're watching Meet the Pets, only on Whistle. I look back at my career, the walk-off homer against the Cardinals, the catch against Milwaukee, the World Series first pitch homer against the Astros. It's always just been like a huge adrenaline rush. It's those moments that remind you, like, this is why I play this game. The most notable thing that sets me apart is that I can play all over the field. And that's become my shtick with the Dodgers is being able to play multiple positions and kind of bounce around from infield to outfield. And uh, that's sort of what's gotten me as much playing time as I've gotten. I mean, I think everybody likes the spotlight on them when they're doing well. When you're going to the field every day, you're there for 10, 12 hours a day. It can be a little bit of a grind. And when I come home, I like to have a full escape and not have my mind off baseball. And, Having a dog, Charlotte, obviously takes my mind off the game, so I think that's good. Charlotte's my first dog. She's eight and a half months. She's about 43 pounds. We tell people she's a shepherd mix, but she's a little bit of everything. We named her Charlotte after the city of Charlottesville where I went to college. That was actually Mary's idea. All the teams I've been on my whole career, high school, college, I had always come really close but never finished the top. In high school, we lost in the state semis. In college, we lost in the College World Series, and then obviously losing multiple World Series with the Dodgers. You have to take the, the lows with the highs as well, and I think you go through that constant grind and all those failures. In 2020, I was playing really well up until the postseason, and I just kind of started scuffling right before the postseason started. That's just the way baseball works. There's peaks and valleys. It's just a matter of where those peaks and valleys fall in October. I think I felt fortunate to have the opportunity so many times and be on a team that's in contention every year. I also had confidence that we were going to win eventually. Our team was just too good. I don't think I ever doubt ever crept in my mind or anything like that. To finally win the last game of the season, winning the World Series is, you know, that's something every kid dreams of. I think I've worn my World Series ring twice. It's the day we got it at Dodger Stadium on opening day and the day our team went to the White House. It sat on a box in my backpack for a while <laughs> and Mary always gives me a hard time. She says I need to like put it in a safer spot. We follow a few shelters on Instagram and we saw her. We knew we wanted a dog eventually, we just didn't know the right time for it. Halfway through the season, we just decided we were ready, I guess. She loves to play. She loves other dogs. She goes crazy when we go to the dog park. She could be there all day. A few of my teammates have been over. They've met Charlotte and then a lot of my teammates have dogs as well, so they'll have puppy play dates and stuff. It doesn't matter if you have a good game or a bad game. She's gonna be so happy to see you when you walk through the door. It's kind of refreshing to have that. I recently started the CT3 Foundation focused towards helping kids with cancer. Last year we did a virtual concert called Home Run for Hope and we had some big time artists like Brad Paisley, Jake Owen, Scotty McCreary. They performed virtually. We raised a bunch of money for the Children's Hospital, the King's Daughter, and the Rock Solid Foundation. Both are based out of the Virginia Beach area. One of my best friends that I grew up with, Kyle Profile, he recently passed of osteosarcoma. Going through that with him, um, you know, he was one of the toughest dudes I knew, one of my closest friends. That's kind of the driving force for me in trying to do something about it. Last week, I um, finally proposed to my girlfriend, Mary. You know, we were in Hawaii. She, that's where she grew up. Her family and friends were there. And I had a surprise party. I can't believe I pulled it off. You know, I think she was surprised, so it was, it was good. We have not talked about if Charlotte's gonna be in the wedding. She's definitely a handful. She's a lot of work. She's chewed up a ton of stuff in the house. She's got a lot of work to do if she wants to be a part of the wedding right now. Charlotte likes all food. <laughs> we try to keep it to the dog food, but she'll eat almost anything. When we're in the park, she eats the grass, she eats sticks. She likes to eat, period. It would be nice to play the Braves again, coming off of their World Series win. We'd like to get a little redemption, I think. It's nice going into the season, knowing I'm gonna be in Los Angeles for many more years. I knew I wanted to be here all along. I've loved playing here. Each year it's kind of been 
you got to prove yourself this year. It's like one year deals. And now knowing, um, you know, I'm going to be here for four or five years, it's, it's nice. And I can just kind of relax and enjoy myself. Hopefully, um, continue to, to help them win and maybe get a couple, couple more World Series.